Oh, yes. Good afternoon. Uh, if you're watching in London and if you're watching Mumbai in India, uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Dr. Patrick of Singh, a uh, uh, best-selling author of Seven Steps to Greatness, but as well I do a lot of coaching and helping people realize their dreams to read their books. Uh, this uh, evening and this afternoon in London, I have the pleasure to introduce to you again Harish Mehta, uh, Coach Harish uh, travels around the world helping people uh, make meaning uh, with their lives, find their purpose, and he has come up with a model called, called Disrupt. Uh, so today he is going to be talking about Disrupt and how him as a, a Disrupt entrepreneur can help you disrupt your life and go after your dreams. Uh, good evening, Coach Harish. How are you? Very fine, thank you. Good evening, Dr. Patrick. How um, have you been? Oh, great and grateful. Very great to see you. It's been long and uh, always look forward towards uh, interviewing you and you sharing your wisdom with us. I'm so very happy and proud that we are doing this for the last seven sessions. Yes. So uh, could you just give us a summary of what we've done so far about the model that you use and what you're going to look at today? Sure. Uh, you will recollect that I have already spoken about D-I-S-R-U-P-P-T. I have coined this disrupt where I engage with people's minds to dream dare and do. That's what D stands for. Dream, dare and do. I stands for I is me. I am born with the intention to make an impact in the lives of people. S and R. Specific, significant and R is results. You you is everyone else other than me. I am the me and you are everyone else on planet Earth whom I am born to serve. Mm -hmm. And I had a great sharing in the last episode where I spoke about the power of you. People who have missed out on that should go back and listen to that episode where I shared the power of you and the initial two episodes which I talked about was first was people and the second was process and today I'm going to talk about the small t why is it the small t because technology is the t and technology is an enabler technology is a enabler Use technology to get momentum and speed. Use technology to get momentum and speed through people with processes. The processes we discussed about was plan, prepare, practice, prioritize, and then perform, which will require patience, perseverance, persuasion and perspiration and the result is going to be the result is going to be perfection productivity and profitability so this is the process which i have coined as disrupt people call it innovation i call it disruption so as i mentioned t is technology now, yes technology all these years People have taken a while to learn technology. Mm -hmm. So my sharing today is technology is an enabler. People need to use technology to enable to get speed. And speed today is the essence for success. Yes. And they can relate to that when you're talking about technology. Uh, uh, back, let's say, about seven years ago, what we are doing now, we wouldn't be able to do it. In other words, they wouldn't be able to link with you uh, through technology and be able to discuss and do host this show 
uh, as you and me are doing this moment in time, but because of the technology, because of the inno innovation, because of the disruption that has happened, then this is happening. Otherwise, the only place it could happen was in a TV uh, studio whereby you have to sit and then you have to wait for your uh, moment to be broadcast. But now the moment, if you look at what's happening on Facebook, on YouTube, people are going live uh, every now and then, and that is technology for us and it's giving us lots of opportunities as well. For those people who don't know, 40 years back, telephone was the only source of communication. Mm -hmm. Before the computers came in, before the internet was created, all the communication was happening through telegrams and telephones. Mm -hmm. So people today born in the new millennium need to know what we have gone through to create today the technology. Earlier, people used to send le write letters and mail it. And mail mm -hmm. used to reach after seven days, 10 days, 15 days, a month. Some used to go by air and some used to go by the ship. Mm -hmm. Between countries, between cities, between states. Yes. Today, technology is essential because it adds speed and speed adds value. Communication is the major beneficiary for technology. People are able to connect. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we seem to have lost Harish at the moment, uh, but he, he was talking about technology and how that technology used to be in the past, uh, where people were mostly relying on phone, landline, and relying on mail, posted letters. Sometimes it could take three months. Even Trisha to remember studying, and it would take my parents who write me a letter, and it would take about three months to reach me. Uh, so but with the new innovation, for example, the email alone, that within an unsecond, uh, the message has reached the other end. So that has been a very, very big change in our lives. So Harish currently is uh, seems to be still off, but the important thing here we're talking about is how can we use technology? How can we use technology uh, to better our lives? And how can we use uh, technology to create value? So one way with where I use technology is to connect with people through this show. You changed my life show. And in You Changed My Life show, as you can see, I'm able to reach people and they have a chance to share their lives. They have to, a chance to share their story because what I believe is that you have a story. Your life is a story. Every day, you're writing a new chapter in your life. And that chapter is your legacy. When you're gone, your story will still remain. And what I'm doing at the moment is helping you capture that story. I'm helping people like uh, Mr. Mehta, Les Brown, uh, Antonio Smith, Ty Cohen, capture their story, put their stories together and leave your legacy. I'm helping people, not just celebrities, but people in the churches, for example, Bishop Kiza from Uganda, I'm helping him document his greatness. So if you have any, uh, any need or you want to document your greatness, put together and be able to leave a legacy for you and for the people who will come after you, then reach out to me and I'll be able to help you create your legacy, preserve that legacy and be able to live your dreams and help others as well live your dream by looking at what you've done better so that they can do even much better. So we have reconnected again with Ms. Har Mr. Harish Mehta. Yes, sorry, I, uh, Coach Harish, we lost you. But great you lost you. because we were speaking of disruption. <laughs> technology 
technology you. fails. <laughs> Sometimes technology fails. And yes. today we have seen, while we were discussing about the big T, yes. the small T came up and it disrupted. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So when I was talking about the new millennium did not know about communication through yes. telephones, telegrams, and letters. Yes. Today, I think people only write mails which are through internet. The physical mail which we used to write and send is not in vogue. Mm -hmm. So what has happened? Business has become global. Business is being done 24 by 7. And people yes. are connected to each other just by pressing a button. Sure. We got disrupted and we got reconnected because we rewired it. Yes. And, yeah. uh, You're sitting uh, in London and I'm sitting in Mumbai. We lost out and then we reconnected in the space of a minute. And as we were connecting with great people online, I can see Shirley Conley. Uh, as she's watching from uh, from Canada, she's one of the great one of the great authors in Canada. Um, then there's the big brother Greg Walker. Uh, Greg Walker as well live uh, and uh, with because of the technology, we're able to connect with him and he's uh, another best-selling author and a man with a lot of vision. Yeah speaker and uh, entrepreneur so yes tell us more about technology how can we use it to our advantage as for uh, example speakers or authors see what we need to learn is we as speakers yes. can connect through technology with people all over the world by sitting in our rooms mm -hmm. technology is providing the medium to connect, like today me and you, sitting in our own rooms, our offices are connected and we can see each other on the same screen. Similarly, businesses today are being done through technology. Yes. We are discussing with people, we are finalizing with people and only agreements need to be signed. That too are being sent through technology over by scanning the agreements, the agreements are sent, people are signing the agreements and sending it back. So technology today is the source of generating more and more business, which is enabling people to get momentum and yes. growth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And today I must confess success loves speed. Those who have learned technology, those who are using technology are the major beneficiaries of growth. Yes. And those who have not learned, I must confess and I must share with you, they need to learn or they will perish. Mm -hmm. Technology is a great enabler. Use technology for growth. Use technology by learning the skills of using various mediums today available on this platform, available through the internet mode. And now we can connect with hundreds of people by press of a button. We have webinars, we have got Zoom, we've got various programs running today. And like me and you, we are sharing on a private channel. So now this also is technology. So do you believe that one day the technology will replace you being in a place physically? Like for example, as a speaker, uh, you've been to traveling around the world, Australia, uh, in, within India itself, uh, uh, Dubai, or so all those places, do you think one day you could be doing all that you do and avoid all the tra uh, traveling or you still believe that they still need to be physically present in the area? I, I, I accept what you are saying, but people want to feel you, your touch and feel effect will come only by your sheer presence. Mm -hmm. Emotion needs to be seen and seen live. Mm -hmm. So partially, yes. As far as coaching is concerned, we can do Skype coaching, we can do Zoom coaching, we can do 
all the things that are available to you on the medium through transfer of technology from one place to another through the internet. But yeah. now, when we are doing a speech as speakers, our emotions are more important. Our emotions and sharing and caring live makes an effect. Mm -hmm. So speakers have to go, but coaching, training can happen through the use of technology. Yes. That's my thought, because we are addressing hundreds of people, thousands of people in an auditorium. Now, all those cannot stay connected. Yes, we can have live streaming of the program, which people can see world over. But the touch and feel, the effect of that, the moment that we are being sharing will not be available on the screen. Thank you very much. And have a contributor from Uganda, uh, Isaac Tumseme from Uganda, and is saying that what is certain about is that technology helps us to look into the future and help us to shape the future. Um, what are your thoughts about this? That technology is a solution. I'm only going to talk about one word. Yes. It gives you immediate connect. Mm -hmm. You can connect people all over the world through the use of technology, communicate to them, speak to them, be with them, and share with mm -hmm. them your message. Mm -hmm. So it's important for people to understand that technology is being used today for communication, for transfer mm -hmm. of messages globally. And that mm -hmm. is the essence of business. That is the essence of learning. That is the essence of growing. So mm -hmm. over a press of button, if you can transfer knowledge, you can transfer skills, and you can transfer your speech, which will motivate and which will influence people. That's the benefit that we are using to express this to the world globally. So that's the benefit that people will have all over the world. And technology is going to stay. But people are more important than technology. Because people need to use technology. People need to learn technology. People need to get momentum and success through technology. So that is why I say the T is small. Technology is an enabler. It enables yes. people to connect. Because like I was saying, connecting, for example, connecting with people, as uh, this is um, uh, is saying that technology allows us to look into the future. Of course, what we're doing now, we might not and will not see the impact 100 years from now, 50 years from now. Because at the moment I'm connecting with people like Martin Luther King, Junior, for example, Dr. Martin Luther King. I never met him, but through his speeches, when I'm, I'm going back and listening to his speeches online, I'm connecting with him and he's shaping my mindset. Uh, so and those are way, the recordings yes. which are being transmitted through the connectivity. Yes. Through the internet medium, mm -hmm. through the technology. And these wires have been laid all over the world, underground, under the sea. Yes. So what is important here is that people need to use technology to reach out to people all over the world. They should benefit because time is the essence here. Mm -hmm. And as far as I am concerned, I feel it's a boon to humanity that technology has evolved and technology is growing every minute. And old technology is becoming useless and new technology is taking over. There's so much of research happening. There's so much of work happening all over the world. And mobility today is the key. We are all mobile through the use of technology. And we are connected to the world through the use of technology. So mobility and connectivity are the two boons for people all over the world. That is why we say technology is essential. Use it. And people need to learn how to benefit 
through the use. So technology needs to be used by all small, big and large economies of the world for growth. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, that's a good side of it. But as well, we have, uh, like in the United Kingdom at the moment, we have people who are addicted to technology. You know, they're addicted that they have to get into uh, a place whereby they have to be detoxed of the kind of the amount of technology they consume, especially social media. Some of them spend lots of their time on that. It becomes very hard to detach. So Anything one, that you do too much is harmful. Mm -hmm. Anything that you do too much is harmful. In case you eat too much, it's harmful for the body. Similarly, yes. when you engage with technology and only communicate, it hurts relationships. It does yes. not build relationship, it hurts relationship. You are not giving time to relationship building. You're not giving time to team building. You're not time giving time to business building. So all this requires personal attention. That is where technology is an enabler. Use technology for sending the message, but to meet people, to share with people, to care about people, you need to have the touch and feel. You need to have people around you so that you can feel them, you can share with them, they can listen to you, they can care for you, and they can do together. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And uh, as you're talking as well, we're thinking about how uh, the internet or the WWW World Wide Web has transformed the availability of information. Mostly, if I wanted a book in the past, I'd have to go to the library, uh, borrow the physical copy or read the physical copy. But now, lots of books online, uh, just with a click, you can get too much information. There's just too much information. So how do you make sense? And uh, I must, I must share with you. the real information and the fake information, which now they see in the news, uh, in the I media, must, fake news. I must share with you, libraries will remain. Mm -hmm. You cannot remove libraries from the face of the earth. But you can convert those books into communication, which can be transferred from one place to another through the use of internet. Mm -hmm. Like books can be transferred into Kindle app, into other applications which are available, into podcasts, and people will listen. So voice will take over, videos will come in, and the books will be converted from script to verbal. So what technology is going to do is going to add up. You can read a book in one day, two days, five days. But you can listen to that video in one hour, in two hours, and the book is done. Mm -hmm. So the point here is they will remain till we have the world around. Because scriptures have all been written. And people need to be geared up to transmit and transfer those scriptures into these forms which people are attuned today. Which is not going to be easy. It's a Herculean task. Yes. 5,000 years of books which are there in the world, you cannot remove them from the face of the earth through technology. But you can add value by transferring those into other mediums which are easily accessible to people and they will feel better by using technology to convert and transmit into what they feel comfortable with. And people still love reading, I must share with you. Yes. People around the world who are plus 50, plus 60, still look forward to reading a book. Yes. They want to read one page, five page, ten pages a day. So your business is secured, I must say that. You can continue to publish books for people yes. all over the world and you will continue to make money. Both will remain. Technology will be a part of that domain, which is yeah, using... Yeah. Yes, there still needs to be a certain level of literacy, technology literacy, yeah, yeah. to be able to discern what is the real, for example, when it comes to news, uh, what's real news and what's fake news. And uh, because most of the people, for example, you could have, like, if you're looking up uh, online dictionaries, okay, 
there are lots of dictionaries out there. But how I you, agree. And which one is giving you the right uh, meaning of the word? I for agree. Authenticity. Second, uh, maybe for yeah, yes. I agree. Authenticity is being challenged now. Yes. Because various modes are taking over, and they are becoming making money by duplicating, by copying, or by using this for their own particular purposes to make quick mm -hmm. money. So mm -hmm. this, of course, is a challenge. Piracy is there. People copy, people print, people share at one tenth, one twentieth of the price of the book. That will go on because there are good people in the world. and so are the bad people mm -hmm. so my suggestion to you is stay focused continue to do the good work that you are doing use technology print 1000 books if you have been doing 100 now print 10 times by using technology and serving the people all over the world so technology is an enabler your mind cannot be taken over by technology that is for sure your mind is an integral part of you and you are the person who is responsible for creating your content and your content needs to be delivered through technology technology yes thank you very much for sharing that great thought in terms of how technology should enable us to do, do things better enable us to disseminate uh, make available information in all corners of the world Uh, of which the if we just relied on the ordinary ways so the traditional ways would not reach those ends of the world uh, so how what are your tips someone who is very new to technology they have no clue where to start from because it's just too much out there uh, what are the kind of things that they need to pay attention to as they navigate this technological world i must share here that you need to start from the basics when you need to learn mm -hmm. and the basics need to be learned at any and every age today this young new millennium they learn at a very young age mm -hmm. people at our age take a while to learn so what is the challenge for us we need to give more time to learn the skill set of using technology and knowledge what new technology is coming in and how to use that technology for our personal benefit and for the benefit of the society by transferring our knowledge to them so we have to be abreast and today it's a dynamic world everything new is coming up every single minute forget about the hour every single minute somewhere in the world something new is coming up in technology so your learning has to grow your learning has to improve you need to be aware of what is happening in the markets place what new particularly in your space what new things are coming up every day and you need to stay abreast by learning those tools low skills so that your knowledge become better and you can share your content your delivery by using this technology to the hilt and it's important that you need to keep yourself on your two feet on your toes because if you leave yourself that i will see to it that when it comes to me i will take it you will perish because technology will not let you be there unless you keep learning being a breast see you learned this skill doing this video call with me am i right yes you found yes. out the tools which are available actually I paid for it i had to get a coach yes a coach to be able to train me how to yes. broadcast use this technology yes how to use it yes and today by learning this technology you can use your day every single day 6 to 9 hours of day by recording this and by scripting this and by writing and publishing a book just imagine that the script and the writing is now a mere formality because your content is all downloaded and recorded by you mm -hmm. and your script has to be only written down and the book is ready 
And that's the beauty of this technology because you and me, we're working on that book on Disrupt. Right. And uh, what we are doing here together, or what we'll be doing the next uh, uh, up to 10 uh, broadcasts, is going to be available as a book. Can yes. you tell us about the title of that book and what your hopes and uh, dreams are for that book coming up? When I coined this word, the word disrupt two years back. Yes. I was attending a, a meeting where a technology savvy person used this word that technology is going to disrupt the world. Mm -hmm. And I hung on to that word from then. And I coined it D-I-S-R-U-P-P-T. Created a philosophy behind people and processes, created a philosophy behind I is smaller than the U, created a philosophy that technology is T is small, just like I has to serve. Technology is a servant. Technology is meant to serve humanity. Technology needs to keep growing. It cannot become the master of people. Remember, I'll repeat here, technology cannot become master of people. People will remain masters. They will only use technology for growth, for speed, and for adding value. And those who learn technology will get more value. Those who do not learn technology will not be able to achieve greatness to the extent with those people who have learned technology will be able to use it much more better. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. So, uh, we, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you're coming towards the end of this show, and we've been discussing about technology. Thank you very much for watching. And if you've just joined us, I've been talking to uh, uh, Coach Harish Mehta, uh, live from India, and he's been sharing about technology. So, Coach Harish, what are your last words? Sum up all this conversation. My last word is. Technology is to be used maximum through the heart and the brain. Mm -hmm. When the heart and the brain are in sync and technology is required to transfer, technology is required to transfer what you have in your heart and brain. That is engaging with people's minds. So we, as speakers, as coaches, as trainers, we are engaging with the heart and the brain of people. And we are engaging to grow them. And we are engaging to give them more value. So how does this come? The essence is using technology as a power. Mm -hmm. Using technology as a power which facilitates your mind, which is your brain, and your heart. And communication is what needs to happen. When your heart and the brain are in sync, and you're using technology to transfer your message, communicate your message, it is getting instantly delivered. The challenge here is connectivity. Like we lost connectivity. Yes. Why did we lose connectivity? Because somewhere, somewhere in between London and Mumbai, somebody yes. tripped this conversation. <laughs> and we yes. lost out on each other. So the yes. connectivity is the only challenge. And connectivity will be well taken care of by more and more improvement in technology from 3G, 4G, 5G to 6G. All that is going to happen. The spectrum mm -hmm. is becoming bigger and bigger. The volumes per second, per minute are drastically growing by the minute, by the hour, and by the day. So challenges for those people who are creating this technology and the platform that they are looking, taking care of, is it in a position to sustain and service millions and billions of people all over the world. As we get into speed mode, 
we need to ensure that technology passes through all the tests and it can sustain all speeds all number of people singularly jointly together hooked on to the same medium so the challenge is with technology needs to keep upgrading and people need to upgrade new technology that is coming in and use this for their benefit for their growth so both are required and i keep saying again and again technology is the enabler because mind is the thinker the idea comes from the mind and the heart gives it permission so brain heart and use of technology is going to be the essence to get those specific significant results so next time we shall speak about specific significant and the last episode will be on results and life is all about results not about reasons we just shared a reason today the yes. reason was the lines got tripped it got disconnected <laughs> and we blamed technology <laughs> Oh yes thank you very much for that last word coach Harish Mehta live from India and in case you want to connect with coach Harish uh, his email is just so on on display at the moment and how else can we connect with you I would be happy to share my thoughts regarding disrupting which is innovation for people for me it is disruption disrupting and bidding the sudden change a massive change in the way you have been living your life in the way you have been dreaming in the way you have been executing in the way your habits have shaped up so i share with people how you can snap those wires rewire again and grow to get those great results in life that's where we use this d i s r u p p t and today i'm thankful to you dr patrick for giving me the opportunity to share my thoughts on disrupt disrupting the whole world creating a new world creating a new aura for people to live a new life through disruption people can connect with me through email through my website harishmehta.com harish@harishmehta.com is my email id and my whatsapp is plus 9199201747 and i'm happy to share with them care with care for them and give them an opportunity for 15 minutes of free coaching when they come online they connect with me and we'll be happy to share my thoughts engage with them grow them and that's my contribution to humanity and i am thankful to you through your university through your platform i am able to share this message to the people all over the world thank you very much coach harish mehta it's been a great pleasure talking to you this afternoon or evening in india and thank you to all our viewers uh, from across the world uh we have people watching from north carolina taiko and taiko in one of the business uh big entrepreneurs in North Carolina we have uh, Isaac Tumsime we had uh, uh we had um, Herman Herman is one of the great speakers in the United Kingdom at the moment and uh, we had great co-worker the big dreamer Julian Businge business and entrepreneur as well and business lady author as well so lots of people have been watching and we're very grateful that you've taken your time uh, thank you very to much for goodness. coming and listening to thank me you. and i'm happy to all those people who had come would like to engage with them personally happy to speak to them and looking forward thank you very much for this episode today thank you thank you and have a great evening thank you thank bye you.